Hello everyone, welcome to this Blender tutorial. Today I want to show you how to create a very simple energy effect that you could overlay on real life footage or use as a motion graphic or something like that. You can see the effect right here and let's say we head into Blender and I'll show you how to create this from scratch. First of all, I'm going to use some texturing options that exist in the Blender internal render engine. So we will use this. And now let's get started. Shift A to add a UV sphere. And I want to have more segments and I want to have it smooth like this and in front perspective I want to shape it a little differently so I select the upper vertex I hit tab to enter the edit mode to select these vertices and then I enable proportional editing this press G to move it and then with your mouse wheel you can adjust how many uh, how much influence you want to have and on different vertices and I move this upwards like this tap out of edit mode and Let's see what it does if I add a subdivision surface modifier. The top is still too, too pointy for me, so I will deactivate the proportional editing and move it back down a bit. Good enough for now. From the camera view I will I see I will have to scale this down and move it down a bit so I can see it properly and now we are going to deform it. We will use a displace modifier and we need a texture for that new texture and I will call this this place so I can find it and now if we click up here on the texture panel we see that we can edit the displace texture and I want it to be a cloud texture maybe a bit bigger in size and linear transition B spline gives the smoothest trans uh, transitions between the different levels. And now we can adjust the mid level to change the look of this displacement a little bit. Or we can change the strength. But I will leave it at this setting right now. Or maybe 1.5 in strength. And now over here shift A to add an empty G and X to move it along the X axis so I can see it. And now we select our energy thing again and the texture coordinates instead of using local we will use object and select the empty and now if we move this empty around we can see it creates a nice effect of some that will look like a bit like moving energy or something like that in any way it will look much more interesting than just a static shape so to improve this a little bit further first of all i only want about five seconds of this this will be enough. On the first frame I insert a location keyframe for the empty and on the last frame I will move it forward on the 
y-axis about here and insert another keyframe and now alt a to playback the animation and as we can see now this energy will move around but you might notice the movement starts out slow then gets faster and slows down again if you don't want that with your empty selected you change to graph editor and then you can see the reason for this movement because these curves currently have uh, exactly what we see in the movie clip editor it starts out slow gets faster and gets slow again if you select one of these points and press v and change it to vector and same for the other one we will have a straight line and the same speed for the whole movement throughout the entire scene and that's how it will look like now let's start with materials first of all i want the world to be black and i want this to have a new material that I will call energy. I will leave it at plain white and shadeless for now. And if I hit render, we see this a strange energy spot or a strange shape. And that doesn't look very interesting. So let's add some transparency let's say about 50 percent transparency and of course now we see there is a bit more interesting going on at places where a lot of um, a lot of vertices overlap we have a higher density so to speak and um, places where there are only fewer we see the 50 percent gray shape now here comes a nice little trick and we have to deactivate shadeless for that and use emission instead and now fresnel is available to us now with just the emission it will look like this no uh, no real difference there once again i deactivate shadeless and set emission to one and now under transparency we can set the Fresnel value and I believe 1.5 looks good uh, 0.6 and now we see that there is there becomes slightly more texture visible with that here we only get these few shades and you have to play around a bit with the values to find something that you like to me about two looked best so i leave it at that and the blend value One point five. Let's leave it at one point five for now. Now we have this a white shade. Uh, this white strange shape here in a black background. And now let's go into the node editor compositing notes, use notes, and I want a backdrop. I press V to zoom out a little bit and move the notes around. And now I will first of all add a fairly common setup for a glow effect. 
about two and two here and shift D to duplicate it. And then a rather big glow, about 15%. And now if we color mix note and add these two together, we can see it has, and 15 might have been a bit much. Let me reduce it to 10 and We now have this sort of glowing energy and let me think for a moment. We can add another color mix node, add again and add the original back in and I click control shift left click on this node to connect it to the viewer and now we have a pretty sharp version of it that we can connect to the output node and this will render out now. And the, you could change the color in several ways. First of all, you could change the material color and that will create the material directly like so. But I find it to be more flexible if you add a RGB curves node and then let's say I want it blue and play around with these values until you find some something that you like To explain a bit more what I just did, I wanted a blue, so I increased the blue curve. And because red is sort of the opposite color, not really opposite, but if you reduce red, you will get more blue in it. And this way we get the scene that we just saw. And now let's see how all of this will look in motion. Change to the movie clip editor. At the scene, press N in this video uh, window over here and deactivate OpenGL preview. And maybe just to make it render a bit faster, I will reduce it to 50% size. And now if I press Alt A, We can see what this does. It's kind of slow right now, but once it's all in the RAM, we will we can see it at full speed. We get these wobbly energy lines that glow a bit, and because the background is black, using a screen node or an ad node, you could overlay this over any video that you might have. And I believe this is a pretty cool effect. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something. Happy blending and see you next time.